Today we meet a couple from Hong Kong who have made Taiwan their home. Their breakfast eatery combines the very best breakfast menu items from both Hong Kong and Taiwan. But the couple were not always cooks. They switched to the restaurant industry from media careers. We hear about how and why they made the leap to start their own business far away from home. A piece of bread is toasted golden and spread with Hong Kong style scrambled eggs for a delicious texture. Then a layer of satay beef goes on top and the sandwich is complete. Cut in half, all the layers shine at once. This classic Hong Kong pork bun is spread with peanut butter and then given a generous drizzling of condensed milk. This breakfast joint, reminiscent of traditional Hong Kong diners, was founded by Tang Yunzheng and her husband. My relatives run a restaurant in Hong Kong, so I guess I've always dreamed about the industry or opening a restaurant. After I came to Taiwan, I really liked Taiwanese breakfast. I wanted to have a place of my own style or with things we liked, where everyone could come. She only tried milky cream spread for the first time in Taiwan, but it was love at first bite. The couple then started making their own in original and sesame flavors and selling them online, later adding chocolate to the range. Customers at the eatery loved the spreads on toast, but neither of the pair were trained in restaurant skills. Well, that was about so, so. At the age of 28, I was working in the advertising industry, and I realized that I didn't care that much about it. So I was pondering what sorts of things or jobs I felt passionate about. I didn't have any restaurant experience. So first I wanted to find out whether I was suited to the restaurant industry. So last year, I started a part-time job in a restaurant to learn about it. After we started the restaurant, lots of neighbors would chat with us or be very friendly and warm. So I think that's something great about Taiwan, how warm and friendly the people are. So we really liked Taiwan and chose to stay here. The couple were won over by Taiwan's legendary friendliness. Now their food is warming the hearts of the neighbors in return.